Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. That did the mini opera on you niggas. <laughs> now, Stephen C. Smith. Now, y'all know what the C stands for. How much you want to bet what the C stands for? And make sure you're going for 500, Alex. <laughs> Look. <sighs> really? I love my black folk. I love, I love my black folk. But my black folk is the most, <laughs> is the most brainwashed people ever. The only reason Stephen C. Smith said what he said to Tiki Barber is why? It's Black History Month. Hey, Black History Month. The only month they get us to be black. The only month they let us be black. The only month that they let us be black. The only month they let us to be black. The only month they let us to be black. And it's the shortest day of, it's the shortest month of the year. That's the only reason why he says something about it. Because they're riding a wave. Just like my boy Lobo said, too bad next month come, there's gonna be forgotten about. Exactly. But it being a waste of time, no. It wasn't a waste of time. Because what it showed you is the NFL don't care if they're racist or prejudiced. They're going to keep it business as usual. People are still going to watch the games. People are going to go out there because the majority of the fan base is pink folks. Pink folks have no problem like they always don't because a lot of them are undercover, prejudiced, and racist people. We know that. <laughs> you know, I always wanted, I always wonder, like, my dad don't like pink folk. Because as a kid, you don't realize it because, you know, you guys are kids. But as you get older, you start seeing how a lot of situations and a lot of economic changes always benefits them and always caters to them. It's always shifted away from us. So, Stephen C. Smith... It's okay for him to be a buffoon, to call black athletes out, talk bad, do some double talking, basically giving backhand compliments. Kyrie thinks too much, but he's never had a bird brain. Why does he think too much? It's not about thinking too much. Kyrie thinks like a man would think on his own <laughs> you see you were, you grew up with women Stephen C. Smith so you wouldn't understand you grew up with a group of women you know and the thing about women all of y'all are sensitive all of y'all are very soft and the thing is when y'all try to be a man or try to be tough like a man and when a man strike your butt down you guys crawl Y'all want to cry to a, a beta male or to a punk male to come help you because your man uh, basically put you in your place. You can't handle it, so you got to yell, get in his face, put fingers in his face. This is what a lot of women do, just like the Ray Rice situation. Everybody was talking about Ray shouldn't have did what, man. Ray had a right to not cut a F out. And then everybody like, man, she still married him at the end. Oh, yeah, she married him because all Ray Rice got to do is say, well, we wouldn't be having these problems with the bills if you wouldn't have did what you did in the elevator. 
is actually your fault. And she realized that after she sobered up and she saw how much of an impact it affected Ray Rice's career, her, like every other woman, <laughs> saw their mistakes and that's why she got married. And now they both became the become or became the face of domestic violence, which domestic violence has been happening before them <laughs> and it's going to happen after them. <laughs> so Stephen C. Smith, you talking about you gonna expose expose Tiki Barber and all this tough talk, bro? Tiki Barber be dressing in high heels. <laughs> you only came in him is because your bosses said, "Yo, Stephen, you can say something about him now." <laughs> you know, we know you gonna say something now about him because your bosses said it's Black History Month. And you could go at that Negro because he's being a token Negro. Even though you're the biggest token Negro we have, but he's even more token than you. Thank you, boss. It really was frustrating to have to listen to that crap from goddamn Tiki Barber. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. This stuff is a joke. And then people fall for it. people fall for the crap oh look what Stephen C said a lot of these bum YouTube content creators look at what Stephen C did look what he said okay so now all of a sudden he want to grow a brain please when Black History Month is over he's going to go in he's still talking about the Nets he's still crucifying Kyrie and them but yet Brian Flores come out he going to hop on the wagon of being cool with Brian Flores Everybody been known about the NFL. This is nothing new. That's why I said I knew Brian Flores isn't going to win the case. I know he's not. What they're trying to do is make Brian Flores look bad in the public, and they're failing. <laughs> they're failing, dog. All, the NFL has the worst PR, but see, the NFL don't care because the majority of their fans are pink folk. That's why I said in my video yesterday on Black History Month, let's celebrate y'all, is that the players should just walk off the field, don't go play, and see how much they miss you then, because they're going to miss you. They can't get rid of all of y'all, but if they do, shoot, get y'all money, go start your own league. <laughs> and everybody's saying, well, it won't be easy, because they're going to try everything to sabotage them. Of course. They always did this. The NFL sabotaged the AFL. The NBA sabotaged the ABA. We know what's going to happen. The MLB sabotaged the Negro Leagues. We know what happens. When a black league or something black owned prospers, they got to come in and destroy it. That's all white people know how to do is destroy things. They don't know how to create things. What have they created? They didn't create this infrastructure. This infrastructure was um, built up by the armed um, blacks. By us. They didn't create this infrastructure. They probably had a design, but we're the ones who put in the work. And you, Stephen C. Smith, you fail to realize that you're more important and worth more than what they could ever give you. That's why you should have been bounced on him. You should have been left, got you a deal, but you can't. Because you're a token Negro and you failed the first time when you tried to go on your own betting on yourself. And now you want to blame black folks because of your transgressions. Man, stop it. I never blame anybody for anything not going my way. Seriously. People will talk behind your back. People will talk bad about you and everything. And then they come and smile in your face. Stephen C. Smith is doing this now, knowing that he probably is cool with Tiki Barber. But all of a sudden, he's going to talk and get big and bad. I put money on it. He talked to Tiki, Tiki before he did it. Look, 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 Tiki. I'm going to go in on you. 
I need you just to accept it, call it a date. You know, we're gonna do it for ratings. And Tiki was like, okay, I'm trying to see which heels work better, blue or red. <laughs> allegedly, 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 <laughs> allegedly Tiki Barber is wearing women's clothing right now, allegedly. We always knew you were the soft twin. <laughs> We always knew you were on um, Jason Collins or Jared Collins, one of them, allegedly. You one of them guys. <laughs> we always knew Rondé had the bigger, the bigger mangoes. <laughs> we always knew, we always knew that Rondé had the mangoes. We always knew that. We knew you was a punk. We knew you were soft. We knew you weren't about nothing. You just a big talker. That's why they got rid of you in New York because you kept fumbling the dang ball. And then you trying to come out and be a sambo for the Giants after they just got rid of you like that. And then you trying to get back in their good graces because you were just like all of us. Eli Manning is overrated. He got so many chances. He should have won two Super Bowls. He should have won more than two with the teams he had, now all of a sudden everybody like, man, he's a Hall of Famer. He ain't no damn Hall of Famer. <laughs> he was just an okay quarterback who got hot twice. That's it. It's a, it's a travesty how, it's a travesty how they put this guy up like that. Travesty. But that's what they do, huh? And also, all this talk, man, like when people get mad or get criticized, they unfollow and all of this. Listen, Anthony Davis, you are Cottonelle Avis. Continental Avis. I don't say the D because you ain't got none in you. <laughs> you don't have no dog in you at all. So you're Continental Avis. Continental Avis, dog. You got exposed again last night. And it's funny how you guys sent Shannon Guzzler not so sharp to the rescue to get on his knees to swallow everything you and LeBron have. <laughs> now look. Westbrook has been problems. Westbrook has um, been a problem certain places. His problem has been situational. It's never been about playing hard and also his skill set. When you put him on the floor, what we've been saying for, for years, because I was watching some of the game last night and I, and I was on the stream yard with everybody. Shout out to Carcino for life. Make sure you guys go subscribe to his pages. Um, Kevin Davis. Um, Screen Fiend for movies. One Crack News for um, news. Um, Seahawks, Jose Rodriguez. Make sure you go subscribe and um, share his page. And um, Lobo, L0B0. That's my boy. He got all the conspiracy. <laughs> That boy there got everything like scripted and he knows he does everything. Uh, we have um, who did it this time. Um, inspirational videos, man. The videos he make are just, they're just beautiful to watch. It's like a story that you're watching. Um, Scrub Zero, make sure you get it on his page. Um, Bear Theater, play games over there, beat guys on it, Everyday Game in 98, um, and many more. If I may, oh yeah, Strictly, make sure you go follow Strictly. I think he has two pages, but he trying to tell him to, you know, just do one page, do your Patreon later, because nobody knows you right now. So once you build that, you got to build your base up, and people got to understand it takes time. It takes a lot of sacrifice. It takes work. You know.
know, I drop videos every day. Every day because it's a passion for it. I'm tired. I don't be feeling like doing it. I ain't feel like doing a video this morning, but you got to get it in. It's tiresome, and hopefully everybody reach their goal they want to get to. My goal is to get to 100K. I don't care about that 10K, that 20 My goal is to get to 100K. And then from there, I want to get to a million. That's where I want to go. And I know what it takes to get there. Now, Cardinal Avis, <laughs> you going to unfollow Snoop Dogg because Snoop Dogg called you soft. You are. You are soft. Dog, you always are on the floor or you always hurt or something. Something is always up with this guy, man. I swear. You and LeBronies are probably the two softest guys I know, but LeBronies ain't soft like this. He's just mentally challenged. You soft as cotton, boy. It is terrible, dog. You is very soft. And if you soft for the dog, you and Julius Randle, man, both of y'all in on the soft team. The pillow, the pillow team. <laughs> well, I forgot what Detroit T said. The pillow team. The pillow team has Cardinal Avis, Jew Randle, LeBrownies is on there. Who else we got? We got some more people. Giannis came into y'all building and destroyed y'all. And then y'all were trying to foul him out the game. Look, this Laker team is done. Get rid of these Lakers. I don't want to hear about this trade talk. They're not going to trade anybody. Westbrook contract. Now they're trying to build up John Wall to trade for John Wall. Why do you want John Wall? Why do you guys want John Wall? What is the point of getting John Wall? John Wall is not going to give you any good minutes. He's not very um he's not um he's not very good at running the point. He's a terrible shooter. Defensively, he's a liability. He doesn't have his uh, he doesn't have his athleticism or quickness anymore. He don't have that anymore. He don't have that anymore, and he's done. Like, this dude gets hurt every year. Every year he's hurt. Every year he's hurt. Every year. Every year this guy gets hurt. He's not significant. Look what he did to the Wizards. He set the Wizards back for some years. Now they're on the right track. All they got to do now is just get Bill out of there. And they're good to go. They got the pieces. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. But this new generation of unfollow and I don't want to talk to you. It, it, it's so it's so it's so feminine, dog. <laughs> this is what women do. I'm not gonna follow you no more. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> Why can't you just talk like a man and just say, you know what, yo? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like it's It's like what? You know, I just I just shake my head, man. I don't understand it. This this new generation is soft. Even even when you go to the workplace and talk to people, you people can't take when you talk to them. They're quick to say, "Man, what, man? Look, man, look, I just need you to do this and do that." You know, trying to demand and tell you what to do. And it's like, bro, you ain't going to demand to tell me what to do. I do what I want to do. You can, you, can, you can tell me, 
or ask me if I could do that and everything, or you could point me to where you need to get something done, but don't want your tone and your voice. But Cottonell unfollows Snoop and everything and all. It's like, dog, you soft. You mentally weak. See, this is why I love Kobe, man. Kobe used to get dissed all the time. He used to be talked trash to. Kobe suck. Kobe suck. All that stuff. Kobe go down court and just do a move that shut your butt up. Fans just be like, I think I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> I know not to push that guy buttons. Because Kobe go nuclear in the fourth quarter. You know, not nah, these guys. These guys don't. These guys water pistol in the fourth quarter. So, I told you, Cardinal Avis is soft and he's always been soft. But to recap what we were talking about, Stephen C. Smith. Basically, or I like to say the right coon tone Smith basically went at Tiki Barber for his comments about Brian Flores and basically saying that racism or prejudice don't don't exist. Basically, basically we already know what the deal is. Uh, Tiki Barber is is backtracking stuff. You know, he's being a sambo. <laughs> Not only a Sambo, man, the man's being a straight punk. And Stephen C. Smith basically was like, he's going to air out some business, a personal business he got on him. Dog, this dude walked out with cross-dressing and wearing some heels, allegedly. He was wearing some heels, dog. I don't think what you have on him is going to be even worse <laughs> than what he's going through, dog. I'm I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to hate or any. I'm just saying, bro. I mean, the dude cross dressed allegedly, allegedly, and I don't think what you will say will hurt him. So that's why I'm like, this is a waste of time. And then Connell Avis is like these new generation. I'm gonna unfollow you because you said something bad about me. Like, yeah, you soften you a piece of it. <laughs> That's what I would say. If if the Marcus Cousins didn't get hurt so much, man, he would have been in LA over you. Cause you soft. Soft as hell. So that's basically what it is. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you guys love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash shopping me at the word well. I mean, excuse me. You can go to the description box on the page, hit the link, it'll take you to my cash out. And basically, what you could do is you can um you can make it for a dollar, or you can make it for a million dollars, whatever um whatever um you're willing to give, man. Um, we accept. You know, we accept that and everything. And also the super chat works. You know, whenever we go live again, you can donate a dollar, donate two or three dollars or five dollars. You know, one true emperor, so Avi Love, Carcino for Life. You know, those guys have um did the super chat. Hey, you know, guys, let's keep it up. Let's keep the page growing. So um thank you guys, man, for listening, man, and thank y'all for y'all support. We out. Deezy.